And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze. I'm back for one more episode tonight of Danganronpa 2. Uh, and if you tuned in from the last one, that man is dead. That man is under a table. Somehow someone stabbed him and stuck him under a table without getting anything messed up or bloody other than under the table. So did he hide under there and then get stabbed? Hopefully we can find out through this investigation process. So let's look at the camera. Yeah, we've, we've got this. It pisses me off. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I got it, so I shouldn't even bother with those anymore. Why are the windows covered with iron plates? Does that have something to do with it? Yeah, blah blah blah. Of course it's a waste of time. Food! The box. Ah, this is the metal case Byakia had with him. I believe he said it was made of duralumin. Last time I saw it, it was closed, but there are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Well, what's this? A hard plastic case? But it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is the small key. It must be the key to the other Dura Lumen case. The other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralum case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakia was taken from that case. Which means, the weapons inside the Duralum case aren't related to Byakia's murder. Even still, I still don't get it. Why did Byakia have this Duralum case in the first place? Can we say Duralum anymore? Holy cow! A case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all the trouble to be extra careful? Obtained Truth Bullet. Duralumen case has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. In the meantime, let's go check our little gigabed. Make sure we clean its poop. Apparently, I'm really close to having it hatch. Um... You. Where were you the night of tonight? Impossible! Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by those who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood. And his drenched, blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The Hellhound Earring! So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomer Pomeranian! <laughs> what? Oh my god. If you guys don't know what a Pomeranian is, go to Google, type it in. It's a little ankle biter dog. I wear that earring at all times. Was that really a, about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to investigate. I won't let you! Yeah, you will. Maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> Good luck. Gundam laughed uproariously as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps in the floor. And peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it! What? You actually found it? I see. Well, good for you, boy. Let me ask. Um, tear up the floorboards. Send in a hamster? Then maybe you should just give up? What? I... I meant to give up the earring. You! It's not lost, it's right there. Seriously. 
If you flinch, you will die! Why am I being scolded? Fine. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. But it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Truth bullet obtained. A gaps in the floorboard has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Wait, okay, let's take a look at this handbook. everything I, I was already told. Okay, let's go on to you. Miharu. Mahiru. Are you alright? What's going on? No, I didn't actually expect you to answer that way. Why? That hasn't been determined yet. the worst. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. This is the worst. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Calm the fuck down. Jeez. Got it? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Hmm. That only you have what? What? A clue? Hey. That is a good point. She took a couple pictures. Oh yeah. The pictures. Hmm. Yes, please. Um. Okay, I'm looking at these pictures. She looks angry, the nurse. Huh? What am I missing? Yeah, I don't see anything. What am I looking at? Hmm. Was way over to the left. He was next to where his case was, and in that case, I'm assuming it was those night vision goggles that it looked like there was. Yes, I got this. You have to be pretty strong to move that fat ass. There's something. Everyone's standing position before the blackout might have been a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's standing position from these photos? Hmm. I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Thank you. You better do your best. Do you understand? Simmer, please. Yeah, I know, but... It's good she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down.
I think she needs to simmer more than the other girl. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. I saw a plate of food. Again, I see a plate of food. Fan service! Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Um... <laughs> How embarrassing! E even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. That's not what you should say right now. Sorry. <laughs> That's a truth bullet I needed for my gun. Embarrassing pose has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, I guess you're the last person to talk to, right? Can I leave? I can't get out of here yet. There's still other things I must investigate. Like him! Hey. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, thank you for stating the obvious. Well, now that you mention it... But... You're absolutely right. There's no way I know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. That's true. I can go by that. Heard something? Are, are you talking about her? Wait, what? You mean her? Like, <laughs> Yep, I just needed to see it one more time. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go check out this then. Under this very table. Byaki was... First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though the only thing on top of the table is that really catches my eye is... A lamp. Because the desk lamp wasn't moved. Looks like an antique lamp, and it's rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now's not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it! I let out a shout as if to encourage myself, and quickly looked beneath the table. Immediately... I noticed an unexplainable smell, like rusted iron hanging in the air. The blood is pink. And during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. The ultimate affluent prodigy. He was the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakuya's sake is to uncover the truth behind his death. There's tape. Someone taped a weapon underneath. Wait, why is there green? What is the green? Okay, first let's look at the night vision goggles. What is this? Looks like binoculars, but... Why are there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hey. And then what are they? Perhaps... Yeah, thank you for the obvious. That night vision goggles. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the blackout? Truth bullet obtained, level 15. And da da da. Night vision goggles have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Body. 
The body is collapsed face down under the table. As if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Now, let's check out the... Cord! Pull the cord. Fine. Take. Hmm? Something stuck to the back of the table. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. Wait, that's glow-in-the-dark! In the dim light beneath the table, it seems like gold to glow dully. It is glow-in-the-dark. Could this be glowing paint? A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Byakuya? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that duralinum case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about the knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? <laughs> yeah, I have a very bad memory. Truth bullet obtained. Knife added to the blah 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 blah. Okay, what else could there be? Okay. Got it. Let's go. I think that's it. What? Yeah, I got it. What do you mean I haven't done enough investigating? Yakuya's body. Night vision goggles. Yeah. What am I looking for? Let's look at the knife one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got it. Can I skip things? Okay, I don't get it. What else am I supposed to... What else is there to investigate? Wait, blood stain. The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth covered in blood. The blood might have been splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the pool of blood. Means he walked over there with his night vision goggles, seeing that something was glowing and someone was there, and then stabbed him instead of who they intended to stab. I'm guessing. Let's take under the table. I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth beyond Byakuya's death. I can't get out of here yet. There's still other things I must investigate. No, there isn't. Jeez! Can you show the photos to me one more time? Yeah, it's just as Mahiro said. Where Byakuya was standing before the blackout is really far away from the table where his body was found. Got it! I know. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I, sorry. I, I shouldn't have even bothered talking to her again. Yes, yes I am. Because I forgot that you have nothing important to say. Hmm. Perhaps... Her, quote-unquote. Okay, what else can I check? Fancy looking dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine blah blah blah. Okay, what am I missing here? Hey, what about this? An air conditioner? Could it be? The air conditioner tricked the circuit breaker. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time- oh, it's skipping ahead. I'm pretty sure Byakuya's time of death was around the same time. If so, that means... That mechanical sound before the blackout. It probably came from this air conditioner. My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. Now then, where else should I investigate? Not here. Hajime. Hey. Um, sure. Well, we've been told that one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> a scent? Well, yeah, but... Fine. If we're going together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. It seems like my character's expressions and talk fluctuate so much like eight different people wrote this text. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And whoa, hello. Damn it. I see. I see. Yes. I'm walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? <laughs> I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout? Hey. Fried <laughs> rice with gravy? Huh? <laughs> anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Yep. What? Don't bring me into this. She takes you seriously. Aww. That's right, it was Mahiro. <gasps> it's a blackout! Next was Kazuichi's voice. Then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. 
It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's so to the point and has its own unique... Oh, that's not... Why is it blue? Then there were more voices, one after another. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! So someone was moving. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> he just said ow when he died? Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and... <laughs> <laughs> I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagiru, say something to her. Or not. Hey, did something happen? Hey. Why was he able to say that? Because he was wearing the night vision goggles. What do you mean? Well, it's not like I really care. Yep. Yahoo! Ouch! You were really biting me! Chain Truth Bullet. Kabuki's bite has been added to the Truth Bullets. I mean, account. That's what I thought. What the hell? It's a little piggy. So little piggy. Piggy me. Wait, you're with me. Why are you there? Huh? It's locked. <sighs> hey! We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. You're right. Moving on. Wait. Where's Big Man? There's no way I can leave this old building yet. I should keep looking around. Um. What is it? It is strange, no? Perhaps it's a weird place for a fire door if there's one on the other side too. You've never seen one before? Wow. Just wait, what? It's only done to keep cats from getting in. the office anyway. I mean, I haven't even seen that yet. But those are both fire doors. Uh. Couldn't you have used that kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. I see. Then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but... 
I guess it's not that easy. Well, if he already had it going, then that wouldn't have made a difference. Because then he would have still had gas. Hey. Byakia must have confiscated all of the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. Well, from reading the list, it looks like the knife next to Byakia's body didn't come from the kitchen. Someone bought it from the store, probably. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakia's body check? That's weird. If that's the case... They probably brought the knife in in advance and hid it somewhere. Hey. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murders, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, French, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well. Guess that's about it. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big, where did you get it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? His bare hands? <laughs> I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Mm -hmm. Man. Eh? To tell you the truth. when he's mad. Potty dishes. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Nagito, let's get going. You're right. I haven't gotten your account yet. Why haven't I gotten your account yet? What you've been hiding. Wait. Is that a scarf? Wow. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Yep. Let's investigate. Stack boxes. There, there's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> I guess I should leave them alone. Well, if you're investigating a murder, everything should be... Yep. Uh... Hamper. Always hidden in the hamper. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps... Tablecloth? Wait. Huh? Hold on. There's something on it. This... Is this a blood stain? Huh? Come here, take a closer look. What? Wait. So there's two tablecloths with blood stains on them? Or someone else's? Because there's oh. still another person not. What the? Seriously, it is a blood stain! Packs of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. Are these irons? They look like they're recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Oh, I thought they were on, like, stands. I couldn't figure it out. I just now realized that those are cables. Hmm.
found them all day long. Yep. Sinister. Hajime. Hmm? Ah, I get it. You're right. You're the victim! I mean, murderer! You're evil. Wait, can I just talk to you again? Are we done? Hmm. Yeah, we already got that. I'm missing someone. So I can leave this old building here. Fire extinguisher. It's locked. Blah blah blah. Hey! First, I'm taking care of my Giga Pet. Because it probably pooped. No, it didn't poop yet. It's a piggy. Why didn't it poop? Oh, it's so cute rolling around. Hmm. Perhaps. Okay. Well, at this point, I'm going to call this episode here because I still don't even know where the office is. Um, I'm still lost. So, if you are having fun, please, again, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things. I'll catch you guys next time when I do more episodes of Donkan Rongpa. I say goodnight.